Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark. And as you can see, I am very, very pregnant. We have a minute before this thing pops out of our chest. We had a little bit of a mishap in the last episode, but we managed to get impregnated. And uh, yeah, this thing's gonna pop out of us now in a minute. Um, let me get these, I'll put a couple. Okay, there we go. So we gotta pop on one of these before it pops out of our chest. Okay, that's the very important part. Otherwise it's gonna kill me. It will just target me and kill me. So I'm gonna turn off my shine horn. It should be okay once once this thing pops out. I'm gonna turn off the shine horn. That should be okay though. <sighs> okay, let me let me also drop down some of these. Okay. I'm also gonna put my shine horn onto passive just in case. Passive. Okay, we got a minute, guys. It's gonna pop out. Oh, I'm really excited. It's very very bright though. Um. We uh, we have got it at max level, I guess, as well. Um, we killed Megalosaurus, if you guys watched the last video. We killed baby Megalosaurus to level it up, and that really worked out very well, as you can see. Plus 75 levels, that means it should come out at 76, and I think that is the max level. I'm not exactly sure. It wasn't gaining any more XP, so... Yeah, um... <laughs> This is crazy. You know, like the funniest part about getting about getting these chest bursters is that your junk gets bigger. I don't know if you if you notice that. I, I, I don't I don't know why your junk gets bigger. It kind of just stretches out your body, to be honest. But like, it's kind of just funny how <laughs> that's that's a, that part of you gets massive. I don't know why. Maybe my characters just really enjoyed the idea of a chest burster. All right, we got eight seconds. Let's pop on one of these guys. Pheromone glands. You guys ready? Make sure that you hit the like button. Here we go. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's eat some of these. Here you are, little Reaper King. Level 90? Why are you level 90? That's amazing though, I'm happy. Ah, look at you. Okay, so he's not gonna obey me at all until, oh my God, until it, um, I birthed this. <laughs> it's not gonna obey me until it becomes a juvenile, I believe, but uh, we can check out the stats and everything. Let us just hand feed him some of this food. They eat normal meat, but they also imprint on the pheromone glands. Let me see, what's his health at? 9k health, that's pretty good. Uh, the weight is kind of lowish, but it's okay. Melee seems lowish as well. I'm not exactly sure what the stats are supposed to be like, but all, the, all of these are gonna get imprinted anyway, so they're gonna be fine, except for stamina won't get any bonus from the imprint. Well, look at you, little buddy. I can't even see your face. What would happen if I walked outside? Could I see him? I can't see his face. All right, let's go back in. Close this. Ah, uh, well, we have a Reaper King, guys. It's a baby Reaper King. Oh, man. <laughs> we got... How long until the imprint on this thing? Our imprint settings are different from official because of our uh, maturation rates and everything. So yeah, we got uh, nine minutes on it. Okay, cool. We also got to watch our little thingy in the corner, the reaper, reaper pheromone gland thingy. Make sure that doesn't go out. I'm not sure if it goes out. I think it might go after me, even though it's in like a juvenile state. I think it might go after me if I'm not using that. So I'm not exactly sure about that. But either way, we have it, guys. It is, it's, it's so amazing. I cannot wait to get a Reaper King. I'm just so excited. Oh God, okay. You see him? I can't even see his stupid little face, but I know if I open up that door, he's gonna scurry away and I'm not gonna be able to do anything. Can I, I can't actually follow him, can I? No, he, he won't go and follow at all. Damn it. All right, well, let's at least take off wandering anyway. I think he probably has that turned on. No, he doesn't actually. Wait, did I already turn that off? I can't remember, I'm just too excited. Oh man, all right, well, we gotta wait for our imprint on this little thing. I am no longer pregnant, and my junk is back to normal size, but that's okay. <laughs> oh man, level 90, why did it come out as level 90? Hmm, I'm not, I don't exactly know why. It's at plus 75 levels, why did it come out as 90? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> we're gonna wait for this thing to need an imprint. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Well, now we can see its face on this side. We got about three minutes before it needs that imprint, but, uh, yeah, look at you. <laughs> I don't know if we can start seeing the colors on it yet or not. Um, I don't see anything at all. I mean, it might just be fully gray or black or whatever color that is. Oh, do I have a light on? Maybe that's hurting him. 
Probably shouldn't have that on. Did that hurt him at all? Let me turn it back on and just see if that actually hurts him. Does it stunt his grout or anything? No. Probably not. I'm not sure. Let's chuck some more of this stuff on there. He'll probably take all of this now, actually, can he? There we go. Nice. Um, he's not eating, though. Maybe that's why. Maybe, yeah, he probably doesn't eat or something. Or maybe he does. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me just force feed him a little bit. Uh, but yeah, um, it's not showing any colors yet, so we might have to wait till he hits 10%, but he's almost there, so I might as well keep you guys here for the moment. Should be able to follow me now in a minute as well. And then we're probably gonna bring him onto the elevator and bring him up and just see if that's gonna, if that's gonna be possible. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. Little bit more, and please be like bluish or something. I know you can get like a cool looking blue. It's 10%, right? I think it is. Juvenile. Is he in his second form? Oh, hey, whoa. <laughs> there we go. Hey, look at you. You're like gray. You're very nice, actually. Let me see. Can I get you on fall now? Yeah, he's going to follow me. All right, let's eat another one of these just in case. I'm not sure if I actually have to keep those on or not, but we're just going to do it anyway. Oh, wow. You look amazing. What color is that underneath? It's so hard to see because of all this bright light in here, but um, we can probably tell after. I think it's kind of like a, a beige or something. Not sure. Very, very nice, though. Wow. Yeah, this is amazing. Okay, so we got, like, how long till your imprint? 45 seconds. Might as well keep you guys here for it now. Wow. The tail is so much different on the males. They have kind of, like, this weird... Um, I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. I feel like the tail on the male should be a little bit more, I guess, spiky at the end, but they have this weird, like, suction thing almost. It looks as if they could almost get you pregnant as well, but they just don't have the, the grabbing mechanism around the tail that the queen has. Which is so cool. Come on. Alright, what you gonna need? What are you going to need? Alright, all the glow sticks are going out now. Cuddle! 13%. Nice! Awesome! Alright, so we've got our first imprint on the Reaper King. Still haven't thought of a name yet, of course. Uh, I did ask you guys in the last episode, but if you guys have name suggestions, drop them down below. Um, we're just going to name him Sin for now. Um... Awesome. Okay. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit before the next imprint, but I will see you guys then. Okay, so I moved him up here. Oh, he wants to go on a walk. We got to unhitch him. Come here, little... Oh, he got it immediately. Alright, let's hitch him back up again. Nice! Alright. So yeah, that is 26% done now. I don't actually have these things on, the pheromone glands, but it seems to still work, so we're not going to bother using those for now on. But, uh, yeah, we're going to continue imprinting here. Okay, so he needs another imprint. What you need? Cuddle. There we go. Nice. All right, so we'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Whoa. We have our Reaper King. It is fully grown, and it is fully awesome. We got a full imprint on it as well. It didn't actually require any of those... Uh, pheromone glands. It just took walks and mainly uh, cuddles. I, mean, I know he said hugs. They take cuddles, not hugs. God. Anyway, um, so yeah, let me see. Alright, that does a decent amount of damage. It's pretty freaking good. I don't know stat-wise if my one turned out well or not, but uh, I can probably check that out afterwards. What I'm gonna do is... We fully imprinted it, so these are the stats after the imprint. Obviously, we have a slight extra imprint bonus on our server, so... That's why the slats will be slightly higher in health and movement speed. But um, overall, pretty freaking amazing. Let me see. Let's, uh, let's fight some stuff. I want to... Hmm. Let me fight like some crabs or something. So if we hold down spacebar, we can prepare to leap ahead like this. And we have this massive leap on us. I think it's, it's much better than the Karkonos anyway. Definitely feels like it is. 
Uh, now there's one issue with riding on these guys. If I have the light on, he's gonna take more damage, but if I don't have it on, Nameless are gonna spawn. And he doesn't do any extra damage to the Nameless, as far as I know, so... I don't know, that's kind of an issue. Let's fight this dude. Here are the Nameless. So yeah, let's kill some of these guys here. But if we turn on the light there, they're probably gonna do extra damage to me. Yeah, you can see they're doing extra damage, but I'm also doing extra damage to them. So I don't know what the what the better alternative is. Should I have the light on or off or what? It's probably gonna be harder to kill them and they're just gonna keep spawning. So I don't know, I might just keep it on. Hmm. I did take a little bit of damage there. All right, let's turn it back on so they don't keep com coming at us here. Stay away. Go away. You guys dead yet? Cool. Uh, but we do also have this annoying glow. Man, it's like, you can't have nice things. You really can't. Anyway, on this Reaper, the colors that we got are pretty nice. It's kind of like this uh, blackish gray on the top, and then it is also like this kind of, I guess, creamy looking white on the bottom. It's very nice. I mean, I do like this, uh, the colors that we got. I do know that you can get blue and I want to try that eventually because like this is just one of the Reaper Kings that we're gonna get. Eventually I hope to have a decent amount of these guys. They're pretty difficult to get so it's uh, definitely worth just investing some time into maybe getting four or five of them and then just leveling those guys up completely. So yeah, let me let me see what else we got over here. We got some Karkonos down there we can go fight. Um, so what should we be pumping? More health? All right, health goes up by a huge amount on these guys. Holy crap. Should we pump health up to 50k and beyond? Probably. I might do that. All right, let's test out some of the other attacks here because we got so many. So left click does the bite. We've already seen that. Right click does the uh, cocoon thing, I think. I think that's what it's called. That basically slows down creatures, which is really awesome. Let's kill this stupid Arthro. And I think the cocoon also wears down armor as well. I'm not sure. Um, then C does the swing attack. X does nothing, and then control makes it roar. Does O do anything? O does not do anything. R R does not do anything. All right, cool. Worth testing out though. Holy crap! <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's jump over here, and then obviously space bar is to do this massive leap. Wow, that is terrifying. Imagine being like somewhere and then suddenly one of these things is just like roaring at you and jumping across like a cliff at you or something. That would just be terrifying. I feel like we should go fight some Reaper uh, Queens. Although that's bad because we're gonna take extra damage and hmm yeah she's gonna do a lot of damage to me but we're also gonna take extra damage. I don't know what the better alternative is. I don't know like should we go fight Rock Drakes or what? I really don't know. Like, what is the purpose of the Reaper Kings? They're super freaking cool, but what do they do? Besides killing players, of course, but like, what are they good to fight against? Is my question. Maybe we'll head down to the Rock Drakes, I guess. We can go see if this is, uh, if this is gonna be a pretty decent team to fight those guys with. I don't really wanna fight a Reaper Queen. I feel like we're not leveled up enough, even if we wanted to try, uh, but also, I kind of feel like um, we're at a really massive disadvantage because we're going to have to turn the light on to damage her extra and uh, that also means I'm going to get damaged extra as well, so I don't know. Hmm. Maybe we'll just go down fight Rock Drakes instead. Eventually we'll try try to kill a uh, Reaper Queen. And actually we can go to the surface with this guy at some point too. Hmm. You know what, we could actually head to the surface up near where the old base was. Hmm, we might do that. Wait, let me shoot at this thing and then dive in at him. And then we'll do a C attack to spin. That does a decent amount of damage and also has a massive uh, AoE as well. So I feel like the best alternative is if you're fighting a bunch of stuff, like hit something big with those cocoon things and then just uh, tail swing, knock it back, it's not going to be able to get to you fast, you just kill everything else and then kill whatever you hit. That could be pretty useful. Let's turn this off for the moment. Yeah, we are taking quite a lot of damage. Alright. Oh, wow. This is so cool though, I do have to say, I really like these Reaper Kings. 
Their design is just flawless. I think that they are just fantastic. I think it definitely encompasses the whole... Oh, okay, we're getting hurt here. Let's, uh, let's move over here, can we? Gotta get out of these weird score things. Okay, there we go. It definitely encompasses the whole alien uh, theme to arc, and holy crap, just... I, I think they did a really good job. I mean, I like the way that the queen kind of looks really similar to the king as well. I feel like in Alien, there's just a massive difference with the queen. It has like this kind of headpiece like this, and all the other aliens have this tiny little wimpy headpiece. This is much more intimidating. It really is. What do we got? What's attacking? Hey, we got some nameless friends. Alright, let's see if my attacks do any extra. Okay, that doesn't do extra. I can cocoon them, though, if I want to. Okay, cocoons don't seem to work, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's do this. Kill them quick. Let's kill this dude as well. So definitely, if you're up in Mushroom Forest, don't have your light on at all. Maybe when you're down here and, and in the blue zone, you could probably have it on. I'm wondering if this plant can heal me. It does heal me. That is very strange. Hmm. Even though I'm weak to the charge, I can still get healed by the plant. That is so strange. That is like a weird design choice, but I mean, I'm I'm okay with it. That means... Game? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Oh god. Oh, my feather light, no! Oh my god, wow. Alright, let's get down here. What the hell's that from? Okay. Right! Well, I don't know what happened there. I just got a complete disconnect from the server, but uh, we're okay. <laughs> it's probably, I don't know, maybe my connection crapped out for a second. That is like, I, it, that hasn't happened in like months. I'm very surprised that's happened. Probably just my internet. Alright, let's uh, web this Spino. And then start swinging our tail up in a little bit. Come on, buddy. So, actually, can we gather anything with this with this king? Probably not. Doesn't really seem like the type of creature that can gather anything. Got a rock drake on us. Compared to the rock drake, we're actually not much bigger. Pretty surprising. Let's do a attack like that. Nice. That's gonna be handy if you're surrounded by rock drakes. You just do one of these, knock them all back, and then just you know. You could probably keep doing this and not take any damage at all, really. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Let's eat you. Let's head down this direction. What is that there? Are you... You're not an alpha. You can't be an alpha. There's no alpha rock drakes. All right, let's kill this thing. Arthros, you're going down. Yeah, definitely need to be pumping in some points into melee, for sure. I should probably check and see how many levels I have. Okay, we have a decent amount. I'm gonna pump these 10 levels into our melee. Alright, let's hit this thing. Nice. Get a little boost in our melee. Pretty good. Not an amazing boost, but it's okay. I feel like rock drakes in general would be a little bit better than these creatures. These are harder to get, but like rock drakes just seem to be a lot better. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. Are rock drakes better than them? I mean, like, you're able to get around quicker on a rock drake, and they're able to go places that these guys can't, so I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, so maybe let's start pumping the rest into health now. Okay, we should probably try to kill something decently large. So either a, maybe an, an Alpha Carcanos if I could find one, or a Basilisk possibly. Either one would work. But uh, we'll head down here and try to kill some Rock Drakes first, for sure. We got a lot of stuff on our booty. We're gonna just leave them. We can outrun them for sure. Oh, we got a poop or something? What the hell's happening? Did I poop? Can I even poop? I don't think he can poop on these things. It'd be kind of weird if they did poop, considering what they are. <laughs> Alright. 
Okay, so we're getting close to where the rock drakes are. There we go, we got one up above us here. Another one over here. Alright, come here. You are a very nice color, look at you. Beautiful. Alright, so they do a decent amount of damage to me, actually. Let me turn off my light. They still do a lot of damage to me. Interesting. Oh wait, now they're not. Okay, perfect. The only problem is that we do have to deal with Nameless when we are like this, but we should be okay. I kind of feel like the Reaper should not be targeted by Nameless, though. I don't know if that's maybe just something that I'm kind of wanting, but I don't know. I kind of feel like the Reapers are... You know, they're kind of like the masters of the Nameless, you know? Sort of. <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, you know, with, with the Nameless, if they stay around too long, then the Reapers come, so... It kind of makes sense that they might not attack me. I don't know. Let's kill this dude. So yeah, we, we're definitely really tanky if we turn off our light like this. So obviously that gives us an, an extra edge, because the Rock Drakes really cannot do a whole lot of damage to us at all. We're still doing a decent amount of damage to all these guys. Nameless Venom. I wonder if that heals the, uh, the Reaper. Let me turn on my light for a second. We'll just kill them. Turn it off. Um, so what's my health right now? Let me see if this heals it. Does not seem to at all. What about a Pheromone Gland? Does that do anything to him? No, that just gives it to him. I don't know why you'd want that. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So I don't think that does anything. I was kind of figuring that maybe would heal him or something, possibly. I don't know. It's up around here a little bit. Just fight all of these rock drakes. I want to just go steal an egg and then they'll all just come to me. Wow, look at that one. Holy crap. Very, very nice. So yeah, we can, we can always just do this. Just keep attacking this. Keep spamming this attack. And we're not taking very much damage at all. Let's kill him really quick. We just keep, like, smacking back all these nameless. Eventually, Reaper King will spawn, right? See if that happens. We've got a good few here. Eh, screw it. They're all going down. I do seriously feel like they should be not attacked by the nameless at all. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we got a lot of rock drakes over here. Let's start attacking some of them here. Hopefully the rest jump in. Here they come. Alright, we got some nameless up in here too. We've got a lot of health, so we should be we should be fine. Let's kill this guy as well. Let me see how slow oh crap, we don't have any stuff. Yeah, we kind of have stamina now. How slow is this rock drake once I hit him with that? Yeah, really slow. Holy crap. Let's turn this on for a second and kill these nameless. Let's kill this too. Don't have any more levels yet. Let's kill this rock drake. I feel like I should pump a little bit of stamina in. In general, the stamina seems pretty good. I do feel like I need that extra edge, though. So we'll get the health to 50k, pump maybe 1200 stam, and then we'll just focus on melee. Uh, this is a high level rock trick. At least it feels like it. Alright, you're dead. 145. Not that bad. Let's do one of these. Yeah, so Nameless Venom heals the Rock Drake by 100 health, and it doesn't seem to do anything to this dude, so that's okay. It's Tam Regen's really good, actually. Hey, look at this. And I'll leave that there, though. 
we have anything else in here useful? I'll take that, I guess. I could always grind these, actually, and I'll get uh, narcotics out of them, so I guess I can keep those. Let's see. Alright, do we have any more Rock Drake buddies up here? Yes, we do. We have plenty. Alright. Got any more over there? We have one more over here. That's about it, though. Let's do this. So I'm super freaking tanky, obviously. That's the good part. Like, they really can't do anything to me. I'm taking, like, 19 damage per hit. 4 damage per hit off these guys. I mean, I could just keep fighting the Nameless till they all go away. Or just do this. Like, I'm really not taking a lot off of the Nameless, especially. And, like, 4 damage per hit. Insane. So, yeah. One more pointed to that, and then... Okay, one more now after this one. Let's grab an egg. I see some nests up here, at least. Well, I'm not sure if I actually see the nests, but uh, I see spots where nests can be. What's that up there? What the hell? I want my spyglass. Where's my spyglass? There you are. Okay, we got a rock drake nest. Can I jump up there? <laughs> I can actually get into the little cove where these things are. That's amazing. Alright, well, there's no egg. Any eggs around there at all? Don't think so. There's an egg up there, or a nest at least. Let's aim right here. Yeah, you could definitely steal them really easily with the uh, Reaper. I mean, like, you can jump pretty well on these guys. Okay, I kind of messed up there, but you could probably get up there and get that. Let me see. Where Bets was it? It was this one here, right? Let me, like, aim directly up and see if we can get up there now. Oh, we're kind of close, though. We're on this one. Right, we need to get up there. <laughs> Is this even going to be possible? Ah, crap. Alright, you know what? We'll leave it. <laughs> I've got to spend like 10 minutes trying to get up there or something and then I'm going to end up falling or something stupid, so... Yeah, maybe let's try one more time. No, I like bounced there. Alright, I need to get like up and around, but I seem to be like too fat to... to walk. No, that's not going to happen. Ah, well. Alright. Should we hop down there? Yeah, we could probably hop down the further, the far end up here. See about grabbing an egg. Not really looking to like get any decent ones, just looking to have a fight with some of these rock drakes. I've already got extremely good rock drakes and I think we just need a 190 now. So we have a 185 max and 190 is the complete max level. Alright, we're having a little bit of trouble here. Let me see if I can get into this. Okay, well, I'm gonna screw it up there. And now I'm bouncing off of everything. Now I'm like inside of a plant. <laughs> Alright, well I have a nest right there. There's nothing in it, of course. Alright, let's try and see. There's like a nest spot right here. Can we get up? Well, there's definitely an egg up in that one. Now, what the hell happened there? I bounced! Alright, I'm just gonna keep trying till we get up into one of these stupid nests. Okay, so we're in, finally. Let me see. Did I dismount? I can. 185, not bad. Come here, Rock Tricks! Come fight me. Here they come. Let's keep knocking them back with the uh, C attack once they're up here. Just keep knocking them back down. Does that even work? <laughs> I don't think it works if they're latched. Alright, let's turn the charge off. They should start doing less damage to me now. There we go. Finally. <laughs> this is hilarious looking. We're gonna be okay though. Trust me. We don't have the charge on, they can't do crap to us. Whoa, we're having sound glitches, that's annoying. 
Alright. This was mainly just to get them to all be annoyed with me. And they are. Got a 185 egg out of it though, that's pretty sweet. Alright. And you're dead. Sweet. Did we get them all? Nice, we didn't even get a level out of that. Wow. Rock Drakes, you need to give more XP. Alright, now we gotta get out of here. We try and turn back towards the way that we were coming from. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> Getting up here was a pain, so. Alright, so I think maybe we'll go have a look for some alphas to fight. Maybe we'll go to the surface. Either or would work. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're gonna head over to this area over here because I remember seeing an alpha basilisk in this area the other day. Hey, we got a normal basilisk here. Let's kill this thing. Ouchie. Alright. Come on, buddy. You were a very nice color, by the way. Look at you. Alright. Come on. Can we knock these things back, I wonder? Oh, we can actually. Wow. That is awesome. All right, well, it's dead. Let me see, I got a level, let's pump some more melee. Man. I love this thing, this freaking Reaper's animations are amazing. I wonder what these things were before. I know that the story with Aberration is that it used to be like a normal arc and then a tech tribe decided to blow up one of the giant pillar things in the sky and then they started to um, build this portal so they can get out of here, but, like, what were these? <laughs> were these, like, some sort of, like, operating system screens or something? I don't even know. Um, so I guess we're gonna hop down here then. There was an Alpha Basilisk. I don't know. Somebody might have killed it, because I know that Shredder lives kind of nearby, and I think Cheese still lives around here, too. So we're gonna have a look. There's a Basilisk over here. This might be it. I don't see a glow, though. Oh, hey, that, no, that's it. Hey! Hey girl, look at you. Alright, let's kill it. Let me knock it back actually. Can I do that? I can knock an alpha back. Amazing. Uh, it does not do a whole lot of damage to me at all. This is amazing. Scary looking snake though, seriously. Alright. How much health do you have, I wonder? I don't even have my magnifying. Actually, I couldn't even pull it out on, on this guy anyway, so... I wonder how much health these basilisks have as alphas. It's probably quite a lot, to be honest. Probably like 50k or something. Probably more. It's gonna take a little while to take down this thing. But we're not taking any damage at all. We're just OP. That imprint bonus, like, stopping some of the damage, and then the fact that I'm not in charge, it just means that I am almost unstoppable to anything. As long as I'm not fighting Nameless or Reapers, I don't have to have charge on, so. I am, I'm pretty golden. <laughs> All right, buddy. Are you almost dead? I can't tell. You're pretty hurt, I think. I think I see some blood specks down your back. Here, let me knock him back a little bit here. Let me actually also do this as well. I'm not sure if this actually damages them properly, does it? It does like a tiny little bit of damage, but I don't think it does anything extra. Alright, we just gotta watch the durability on my helmet. Uh, it's still pretty good. Alright. Maybe we'll just try to avoid some of the uh, spitballs. Like, we could definitely avoid some of them by just moving out of range. But uh, that stuff does actually damage your helmet, so you gotta watch that durability. It's like the same if you have a gas mask, it takes uh, damage if you're... What the hell? You're not... You're like not attacking me. What? Why? Stop! Fight me! What are you doing? I'm gonna cocoon you and keep you there and eat you. So don't eat... Don't eat those creatures. Stop! I'm eating that parasaur. Screw you. Alright. Are you almost dead? You are like not even bloody at all. Holy crap. What freaking level is this thing? Let me see. I remember it was a decent level. It was like 125 or something. Let me... Can I not see by just looking like this? I can't. Alright. Let me get out of this stupid gas. Oh, wow. Um... 
Where's my spyglass? Wait, no, there it is. Why did I not see that? All right. Oh, it's a 135 male. All right. Let's get out of the gas. Die, dude. Stop. Oh, my God. Yeah. I can't move. <laughs> I'm just stuck. Oh, wow. So, yeah, it might be a little bit here just fighting this dude. I guess we'll probably cut to a little bit further into the fight, maybe. Because it just seems to be going on for a while. No, stop. Attack me instead. Idiot. Come here. Okay, so this thing's pretty bloody now. Should be able to kill it. Should almost be dead, at least. Yes! Nice. I don't think he's gonna have any loot on him. Oh man, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. Sweet. How many levels do we get? 13? That is a lot. Alright. Um. Okay. And then melee. What? Oh man. Alright, I did see that there was another basilisk over here. Hey, there you are. What level are you actually? You're beautiful. 35. Poop. 35 and a 135. So we do 502 damage now. Pretty good. These things are definitely not. They don't level up a huge amount in uh, in the old melee, but it's okay. 515 melee. Insane. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, you can of course subscribe. And uh, yeah. We'll be seeing you in the next one.